Today is the 6th of June 2024. This is Wirral Council's Planning Committee. My name is Paul Cardin. I'm speaking for the group known as Wirral In It Together, who are long-term residents of Wirral. Allow me to state at the outset that we are seeking to gain your cooperation in the resolution of some very difficult issues. I will be referring to some serious issues and would politely request that members bear with me and do not interrupt me while I address you. Thank you. Councillors, with regard to planning applications for 5G mast installations on Wirral, we have discovered multiple instances of potential criminal activity being engaged in by various telecommunications companies. Wirral Council's planning officers and publicly elected officials appear to have not spotted large-scale questionable activity over a long period of time. Our purpose here today is twofold, to expose to you the true extent of the Council's perceived lack of oversight and to begin to make the Council publicly accountable. On the 29th of April 2024, we sent an official letter before claim to Wirral Council's Chief Executive Officer Paul Satur, which listed in very close detail the companies involved, the dates, the mast locations, a number of problematic documents, a number of bogus safety certifications and all the surrounding circumstances. Receipt of this letter was finally acknowledged on the 20th of May 2024. We are recording this session today on video. Please be patient with me and hear me out. Any denials or attempts to shut me down given by any of you may serve to incriminate you at a later date. I would respectfully request that you remain silent as I continue to address you. Our actions are being carried out entirely in the interests of public safety. We would like you to use your expertise to recognise and act upon this unfortunate situation. Although it's always an option, we would prefer not to be forced into sending notices of intended prosecution or making you personally liable for your actions or inactions. Not at this stage. It's too soon for that. Separately, all 66 rural councillors will be contacted in order to notify them of this situation and to galvanise their thinking. A very similar situation has arisen at Gloucester City Council involving the same company names. Here, we are told, the head of planning has resigned along with nine councillors. We have found exactly the same situation at a number of English councils, the identity of whom we are not prepared to divulge as our investigations proceed. On the ground here on Wirral, the council's actions or inactions appear to have created an unsafe environment for 320,000 Wirral residents. The sheer gravity of these issues and the involvement of the same allegedly bad actors appears to be so widespread that we may even be looking at fraud and unsafe local environments on a nationwide scale. The only way of remedying the situation would be to acknowledge these issues now, to act quickly to remove the specified Wirral mast installations and to restore the locations to their previous condition. We have powerful individual rights and are prepared to exercise them here. We also have an inherent responsibility to hold our public servants accountable. Councillors, we state that you appear to have failed to fulfil your statutory duties and obligations. We would prefer not to take this course of action, but we envisage that we may soon be in a position to prove to a High Court judge that councillors have breached public trust, breached their statutory and fiduciary duties and breached their codes of conduct. Any attempt to stop me speaking may be viewed as a direct attempt to conceal these alleged crimes. Similarly, any attempt to throw our group out of this room would be a direct breach of section 8.3 of your own Members' Code of Conduct, which states, quote, I do not intimidate or attempt to intimidate any person who is likely to be involved with the administration of any investigation or proceedings, end quote. I am a resident involved in the administration of an investigation and proceedings. The World Health Organization regards radio frequency, such as that emitted by 5G masts, as a potential Group 2B carcinogen, which means that it is possibly cancer-causing to humans. The International Agency for Research on Cancer found in 2011 that human epidemiological studies provided evidence of increased risk of glioma and acoustic neuroma with regard to radio frequencies. It would be an admirable action 
were you to recognise these issues and cooperate with us. If you choose not to do this, we may be forced to escalate it and to take these alleged crimes through the legal process. Instead of the alleged crimes remaining largely hidden, this would have the positive effect of bringing much more needed scrutiny. The choice is yours. In summary, we entrusted you to act as the guardians of public safety, but Wirral Council's apparent breach of public trust has ushered in foreseeable, avoidable risks and a hazardous local environment. Thank you, councillors.